after this one. Uh, we're going to get access to one that's not normally open to the public if we can hurry up down here after. That is a very small gap. We haven't been able to get access to this before. There's Hathor uh, with vibration resonance, and look what's up there. You get a picture of a thousand dollars. staff or the rod being placed there right now and this over here is where the mana or the shamana would have been stored and this was very important this ark of the covenant like device and we know the ark is not a hebrew story per se it's an egyptian story the ark of the contract and what's also interesting about this is who is carrying the ark right timothy yeah, I mean, the, so, the, you know, in traditionally, within the Hebrew tradition, it was the Levites who were in charge of the Ark. And this is, in fact, where the term Levitation comes from, levitation. And, and the Ark itself, this is where we get the term Ark for, with the, within electricity. So, because they're all, they're all connected with it. Even when we go over to Edfu or Abu Simbel, we'll see this Ark being contained, making giant blocks and temples being levitated. We'll see boats levitating, and sometimes you'll see those two rods that they're holding, like a positive and a negative charge, manipulating a field of force. What are your thoughts on this? Do you get any impressions? Yeah, when, with the rod, I'm sensing that it's actually also got something to do with bringing the materials that are being levitated back into full mass within this reality, three-dimensional space, many a time. It's almost like the vibration, um, of the you know energy field that was being used just across the other side of the door is causing the material to temporarily lose mass. And I feel that this rod has something to do with putting it back into matter and to form as it is standing now. And this this box, which was basically a, a natural capacity capacitor that built up electricity, when when you put the white powder in it, which was a superconductive substance. It, just produced a, an intense amount of electricity, uh, but it also that's what stimulated the uh, this weightlessness. So, so this rod, as was correctly pointed out, would be used to direct that current. The white powder things, and uh, it is not improbable that they would have some building. They used to cut stones. Yeah, I like, I like that. Uh, we should get to the crypts. These crypts we're about to take you down into, they were secret. This was a university. This was a place of great power and significance you can learn about. We will. Yes, yes, yes. yes. After this one. Uh, we're going to get access to one that's not normally open to the public if we can hurry up down here after. That is a very small gap. Want to go right or left? Left to the light. Okay. Whoo! See the energy. Yeah. Feels being generated by the doorways yeah. with the vibration of Hathor, which is representing the sound and vibration moving in. Look at this multi-dimensional aspect, like the geom geometrical keys to the universe, and we have it being generated like a field, just like JP is saying. Do we know what this means? It has something to do with harmonics or? Yeah, I'd say like cymatics. Cy cymatics, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It looks like it. you've got all of the significant patterns that turn up. Yeah, we have the feather. Yeah. Okay, well, denoting the yeah. nation for yeah. the Hindus. Watch your study, watch your study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, keep in mind how dark it would have been in here. Yes. You know, I mean, we, we have fortunate because we got some light going in here, but. It, uh, you, you have to wonder. It's not like they could just reflect light in here like a mummy movie. I mean, it was, yeah. and you couldn't you couldn't burn a torch in here very long because so you get all kinds of 
soot all over the ceiling, and you'd also uh, be burning off your oxygen. So you need to, they had to use something else to light it in here. What would be your guess? Well, I mean, it, it adds some weight to the, the, the idea of these potentially being light bulbs, right? Because if you had some sort of uh, ever-burning lamp or, uh, uh, you know, something like a light bulb, I mean, you'd be able to see around in here. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I want, I want you to keep a few things in mind when you look at this. So first things first, when you look at this giant being over here, you're going to notice there's like a double version of them. You see that? The two faces, the second outline around them. Mm -hmm. Some might say this is like the Atlantis story. So you see there's like some giants. And you might also say this could be the dynastic Egyptians kneeling before them, wanting to receive a great gift. So, yeah, you could look at this and say this is a light bulb. But it's also a lotus bowl. Right. And this is a field of energy. So the serpent changes. I want you to notice something. The bends in the serpent are going to change. They're going to change from this wall and how they are in this wall in these various processes. You're going to see this figure in the middle. This is a very significant figure in the Egypt, uh, in the Egyptian pantheon. This is Hay, and he represents eternity or immortality. And something these two gentlemen can tell you all about is we see this way the raising of the Jed pillar. Now, we might say that traditionally this is the spinal column of the Kundalini being uh, risen in Osiris. And we see the serpent bends again changing as it's being received. And over here, furthermore, you see the vibrations of Hathor. Well, look over here in this sort of Atlantean story of the pre-dynastics rising up. We see over here like a figure that you find over in our cosmogony and our story that we find even at Hermiopolis. There's different creation stories and cycles. Look at this reptile-like race or frog-like race with these sculpting blades, almost as if it's sculpting creation. And again, we see the pillar has risen more. These folks are sharing knowledge. They're growing. Uh, one of my uh, interests in this is how we exist within physical matter, but it doesn't mean to say that there is not a, a greater hierarchy or order of intelligences or beings that have an interest in and um, help shape this reality, which is what I'm seeing here. You know, the beings are feeding in a controlled seemingly a technological way, but I don't necessarily feel it's technological, but they're feeding higher consciousness in stages because we're creatures of evolution. Everything evolves. And I feel that the pillars, the feeding of higher consciousness through the lotus is about staging and acclimating humanity and you know all manner of other beings here into um, receiving gr the full spectrum of reality. And that takes time. There's another one of those arcs. Yeah, those arcs, those tablet boxes, you know. There's, wow. there's, a, there's a smaller version yeah. of it, but so yeah. here you have the box and, then and here you have the rods. rods. The rods, yeah. You know, so they're, they're, they're always shown together because they work, they work together with yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. Just as uh, in the story of Moses, you, you had the ark filled with the mana, but uh, it was. Aaron's rod was always associated with it as well. So this is the same thing. So here we, so here we actually have four of these boxes, right? These arcs. And look how the energy is emanating, is connecting with them over to this here. I mean, and it's literally showing the energy coming from the boxes. So. Yeah, it couldn't be more clear, really. Look at this. Yeah. Tracing across, arcing through, and then you've got this beautiful kind of pattern around here, which we were thinking might be representative of the cymatics, the sacred geometry of resonance. And uh, above it, you've got clearly what looks like a depiction of energetic uh, arcs or waves. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Going through... A very tight space. Tim, so pro so profound, brother. Look at, Look, Look at this. Look at this, bro. This is the consciousness rises from the lotus. Here's the gift of the nethers. 
and the energy of Lewis, all the numbers leading up. This had, we haven't been able to get access to this before. There's Hathor uh, with vibration resonance, and look what's up there, the gate. Uh, yeah, the gates. Here's the keys to the Stargates, the mysteries.